Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time, but I've been busy. So, I've bought some things from Devail Games. And I thought I'd show them off to you. So these are a mixture of wandering elves, I believe, if I recall correctly. So, they, they come in these packages. Nice little uh, clam packs. And there's a nice opening to the back of them. Let me get that into shot. See there, it's just it's a uh, it's, it's it's monopose, but it's a nice looking sculpt. That can't see anything wrong, and it's there are separate parts, so you get little quivers with them. This one's actually got an arrow to hold onto the bow to aim it, so you can actually paint that separately. This one was to be one of the sword elves. One of the spear armed elves here. So that should be. Ooh, is that? Oh, no, that must be the. Uh... Yeah, That's just how they've attached the arms. Right, that makes more sense. Another sword armed elf in this one. The swords aren't gigantic, but they will be uh, proportional. So that is all that matters, end of the day. Another spear armed elf here. So I didn't just get these spear elves. I also, I can, once I finish putting those away, uh, bought a couple of others. I bought myself, I'll put that over there, this fella. He is the Wandering Elf Hero. So, That's his, no sorry, these are not the one I favorite. This, this is the Lost Brothers. So that's the foot version of one. That's, I believe, oh no sorry, these are the, not the Lost Brothers, these are the Wandering Elf Hero and the Spellcaster. Yeah, that's what that is. That's a spellcaster. Makes more sense now. I was like, why am I... So you got the Wandering Elf Hero and the uh, Wandering Elf Spellcaster. Both of which look like great models to, be, to put together. Nice and simple and straightforward. And then I got the Lost Brothers. So... Yeah, in here, if I turn it round so you can see the plastic, are the foot versions, I believe. Yeah, there's, there's two sets of feet in there, so that's the foot versions of each of the Lost Brothers. And these are the horse-mounted versions. And... They, they've sculpted the legs on for you. So you use none of this. I can't get it to balance. I need to pin them. They've already sculpted the legs onto the saddles. So all you have to do is glue the body, um, glue the glue the legs onto the horse, and then glue the body onto the uh, legs in the saddle, which is actually. An ingenious way of doing it, because then that way no one's going. You sold me a faulty product because I can't get the 
so I can't get the guy to sit properly in because I can't do that, I can't use it and no. Simply put, you just glue the body onto the, uh, the uh, onto the legs and there's no worrying about having to try and pose it, having, which is, I mean, some companies prefer to cast this part separately and sell them as separate individual parts, but then due to the nature of casting, you know, it's not going to be 100% guaranteed that they'll fit all the time. Whereas this way, by casting it onto the horse, the horse's body and the legs will never break apart. So it makes sense. It makes the horse heavier as a result, but it also makes sense as well. So I'll get these assembled in a few days, hopefully. I have the weekend off next weekend, so look forward to that. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.